Welcome back YouTube world to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I wasn't sure if I was going to bother with these legendary animals. I've already killed uh, two. Um, a crocodile and the regular bison. I may still revisit them, like go back to where they're located, kind of talk briefly about certain little details as to what helped me catch them. There's really not much to these, to be quite honest with you, but I figured, what the heck. Anyhow, before I go ranting on for a half hour, let's get to the point. Spoiler alert. I keep sounding like a broken record, but it's very important. If you don't want any major spoilers, you're actually not going to be able to watch any of these legendary animals of mine. Because I'm playing post-game. Certain elements of the game change. So that's very important. Spoiler alerts incoming. Three, two, one. Okay, so south of your home at your ranch post game, which is just west of Blackwater. If you don't know where Blackwater is, may God help you. Okay, so. When you go down, there's going to be McFarlane's Ranch. <laughs> and there's going to be the word underneath it, Steed. Basically put a marker east of the letter T. Somewhere around here. And this is, uh, anyhow. Yeah, see the major spoiler, if you haven't noticed. You're playing as John Marston, post-game. So this is kind of a... This isn't a tutorial, this isn't even really a guide. See? You have entered a legendary animal, but there's too much activity in the area to track the animal. There's just too much going on. And I'll be honest, I don't really know what the heck that means. But what it does mean is when you look at your map, there's something supposed to be... Yeah. Hit those two squares. Or those two squares. My goodness, those two analog sticks. Yeah, so when it says something like, uh, there's too much activity, I actually seem to get that quite often. You just want to move away from the area. You know, follow the path, just kind of leave. And now if we look at our map. I still don't have the icon updated that there's a, uh, a legendary, but we did get the pop-up. So, because roughly... Just give me a moment here. Some people don't always, like I said, explain this the best. But uh, let's put a pin right around there. Naturally, if you go to the end of the video, you're obviously going to get to see how it all plays out, right? Okay, so we've come all the way back here. Now let's see what happens if we go back in. One important thing to note, and I've only done two of these. You're going to be looking for a clue when you enter the zone for a legendary animal. Okay? And it's going to give you a white question mark on your map. That is essentially what you're looking for, because then that's what sort of spawns the legendary. To the best of my knowledge, you can't just magically stumble upon the legendary, if that makes any sense. You can't just like roll up on him. Doesn't uh, quite happen that way. 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting in the description to skip ahead for those that just want to see whatever. Because right now it's just a lot of me babbling and running back and forth on a, on a track. And that's not really all that enjoyable now, is it? No, it says there's... Well, I mean, it said at the one time that there was too much activity. Yeah, I've definitely gone further out of the way. See, like, for example... Please bear with me here. This may be important to note. Like, when I went and got the bison over here, okay? See where I put that mark? My white question mark was here roughly but in another guide the guy said it was like here or actually around here mine ended up being I think like right here in other words it was relatively close to where that guy's was but I was just like right on the spot and it was driving me crazy it's like where is this thing why won't it spawn and uh I had to leave the area, come back, and my clue was not exactly in the exact same spot as the guy that I watched. So I thought, like I said, that that would be very important to note. Not everybody's going to have the exact same location. So like if mine, see, you have entered by finding inspecting clue C, hunt this legendary animal, sorry. And if you notice, when I left, see? The two analog sticks down. Look at that gold thing in front of us. Because look what ended up spawning. That's what we're looking for. So yours could be here. Yours could be maybe there. Could be down here. But it's in the vicinity. Because on your map, see now he showed up. Like the drawing for the, uh, for the Tatanka Bison. Anyways, like I said, I ramble on a lot. Some people are going to think it's it drives them crazy and, you know. So my weapon of choice so far, if you're curious, is the bolt action rifle. Look at the range, look at the damage. Now while I'm showing you this, if you notice the conditions, see how it's grayed out a little bit on the fourth bar yeah there's four bars yeah so the fourth rectangle or whatever you want to call it, it's kind of grayed out not like fire rate and reload where it's like black that's just like you can't go that high look at the damage what's that signifying while we're at it and the range and the like the condition can be better if i clean it but the range and the damage is that in, insinuating that i can improve those specs somehow because it's not because of changing the bullets. Because I'm... Uh, that could be just all it is. Anyways. I'm going to use... Uh, Express. Because it's got slightly more damage. Not that that matters. Okay, what's this? When you make these? A while ago? I usually hate doing walkthroughs, or whatever, even though I wouldn't really call this a walkthrough. And that is because, like I said, my single biggest flaw is I talk way too much, and my videos are not short. So anyhow, when I reached the end of the tracking with the two analog sticks, we can see in the distance the gold stuff, whatever you want to call it, gold confetti. Well, you're not here. Yeah, it's kind of a dead giveaway, isn't it, that I'm playing as John Marston? So follow that white 
blinking light as you can see on the ground and it kind of fades and it ends no problem because we have more now the reason I'm crouching is just because eventually you're gonna hit one of these and it's gonna be your last one and it's what spawns the actual animal like I said you can't just run up on it I reckon we're near. and there she is or he or whatever now what I've done for the other two animals is actually quite simple make sure your dead eye is uh, full so I always like to grab like a chewing tobacco or something fully restore your dead eye or a uh, yeah make sure you got that full because here's what's gonna happen I'm going to aim I don't know if it matters where you shoot to be quite honest with you in terms of the pelt quality because it's a legendary so I'm gonna aim I'm going to dead eye and then I'm just gonna tag the crap out of its head or whatever and that's pretty much it so like that whoops And come on, guys, tell me that was difficult. I'm not trying to brag here, I'm just saying, like, that's what I mean by these. These are not, these aren't that complicated. The biggest challenge, really, when you think about it, is finding the bastard. It's not actually, you know, it's definitely not killing them. And that's it. And these are a one time kill, to the best of my knowledge. These are a one time kill. Again, don't quote me on that reason I say that is because let's say uh, the crocodile for example let me just put my pelt on here yeah legendary to talk about okay good for me and my horse is taking a shit all right here's what's important to note don't go farming two pelts let me get back on camera here. It makes it a little bit more personal. You can only carry one legendary pelt, like one of those big rolled-up pelts on your horse at a time. So even though I have the uh, all the satchels, all the maximum holdings of everything, it doesn't matter. If you ended up right now going to hunt another legendary, you're just going to uh, end up... Let me just go back home here. You're going to end up want, um, replacing it with another... See how there's an X through it? That signifies that you've you've killed it. Oh, sorry, I got sidetracked. One-time kill, I say that, because when you turn in that legendary pelt... Let me just start heading home while I talk. You're not just going to get one piece. It could be two, it could be three. Like, if you look at my uh, vest and my boots, okay? I got that from one crocodile kill, but it actually gave me three pieces, which was enough to make the hat, the vest, and the boots. So some people might be like, oh my god, how am I going to get three if you can only kill them once? Well, even though that's one pelt, get it? When the trapper crafts your gear, he cut it into three pieces, I guess you could say. Now, I've read other legendary animals. Uh, some people claiming that one wasn't enough. I don't know. I haven't, haven't gotten that far yet. I've been able to craft uh, the white bison uh, for myself. I had to show that off for a second. Just wanted to show you because it's pretty cool. This is the white bison. I did the jacket, and I did the uh, headpiece because it, it's a little bit warmer, and it just, quite frankly, I think it looks cool. So that was the white bison. 
you are hot while hot, your health core will drain, right? Just like if you're cold and vice versa. Yeah, I'm sorry if this video is super long. Like I said, I'm just kind of babbling while I'm roaming around back home, just kind of explaining all the fine details. But, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I kind of defend that by always saying, do you want a 10-minute video that explains everything and gets you to your goal? Or do you want a quick one- or two-minute video leaving you scratching your head? If you can find somebody else that can explain everything to you in a much quicker time frame, with all the detail I include, hey, all the power to you. I've definitely never claimed to be the best. Which is why I refuse to call my videos reviews or walkthroughs or... To me, they're just let's play. See what happens. Because I find if you use the terminology walkthrough, you know, it's like it's perfect, it's flawless. Same with a review, it's very... It's got a certain construct to it where you talk about all the main points and everything's perfectly organized. And with me having severe ADHD and my brain's just like blah, 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 100 miles an hour, I just, I can't do that. It's just not a part of my personality. Oh yeah, so while I'm roaming, sorry. Uh, let's try to stay on topic here. Yeah, so right now I'm just going home because I just so happen to not be too far away from home and I'm going to fast travel uh, Probably not in this video there, or maybe I will. I mean, in the end, people can always just stop watching the video, right? They don't have to feel like, they, uh, like they're like they watching the whole thing. I'm going to end up fast-forwarding this video when I uh, watch it back. And I'm going to put a timestamp as to where, you know, the kill is or whatever, if you want to say that so that people can just you know once they're done with me and they're like all right old man we're done hearing what you got to say they're gone so it's kind of like if you want to stick around that's great because in this video i probably am going to record up to the point where i go to the trapper i upgrade my gear i mix it with the other clothing that i just showed you the white bison Definitely not expecting anyone to stick around that long. But if you want to, and you're bored, and I haven't driven you crazy yet, feel free to stick around. Yeah, see, I can see pretty good without my glasses, but I call them my 4K glasses. My 4K goggles. I just slightly see sharper detail because I have a very, very mild astigmatism. I've had it my whole life, but uh, my vision's never changed. I just hate the way I look with them. Don't care what people think, it's what I think, but I can't stand the way I look. Fast travel. Now, there are five, four different places where you can uh, visit a trapper. I am consulting my map here that I got on the computer that shows all the different... There we go. So I am... Oh. Really? Sorry, bear with me here. I mean, if you've made it this far. You're pretty brave. There's apparently a trapper. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Because if he's just down there... I mean, I was going to travel pretty far. Man, some people just don't explain properly where things are. Uh, I'm not saying I'm better. I'm just saying, my goodness. 
Yeah. So you probably saw what I marked there. See, the main one is in Annisburg, like within the city. But the same NPC is also in another location. Okay, Missy. Or in other locations. So let's go on an adventure and find out where this guy is. I should have made these before, but I mean, to be honest, like before post-game, but I figured, eh. I wanted to get into gaming, doing certain videos. And then you get to see random stuff like that. Dead guy on a carriage, and there is probably some bad people up there, so I'm going to save my game. Because the game's dynamic, right? A lot of random stuff can happen. Don't forget, if your horse dies, like dies, dies, if it's critically injured, yes, you can uh, revive it. But if it just dies, there there is no coming back from that. It's a permanent death. This is actually, now that we got the cat out of the bag with the spoilers, you lose everything, right? When you're with Arthur at the end. I won't, like, say what happens and stuff like that. Detail for detail. Because I've already explained that in another video, but you do end up keeping all your stuff by the end of John Marston's little story. But you don't keep your horse. So, like this white horse that I have, it's the white Arabian horse from near Lake Isabella in the uh, snowy mountains, right? You lose that, so I have to go back, retame it as if it never happened. And your pre order horse, you don't even get that. I mean, I'm like a good. 20 hours into post game I've completed the story 100% I know when I saved it it probably showed no you're at 77% no I mean the actual story see the actual story is at 100% and uh, yeah I thought that was dumb that you lose everything Shouldn't be much further now. Again, I've never visited the trapper from this location. I guess it's nice to see him in different locales. But you can always fast travel, right? From wherever it is you are. Alright. That was a fail. That was an utter failure. Smacking into trees and... Oh, there he is. Now he showed up on my mini-map. So you get off, as you probably already know. You don't even have to take the pelt off. Good to see you again. Oh. I guess you want me to actually go here. In the <laughs> had to clean my boots. Alright, let's have a look. Right, so the legendary pelt, again, don't quote me on this, but no matter how you kill him, it doesn't matter. He's always legendary. So you sell it. You get 3250 for this particular piece. Whoops. Now you go to buy. I guess while I'm here... Well, you guys have probably already been to a trapper before. I'm just showing you the different ones. See, like this one. 
that's the one that I got. See how it says one alligator skin? Because he still has one, I just can't seem to get the snakes. So one alligator kill. One legendary gave me three pieces because I got the one here. Two there. Yeah, see one, two, and then three. And then the cloak's something else, and I didn't care about the gloves, so I just didn't bother. Anyways, I think it's this one. Yeah, because that's the ghost bison that I got. I just haven't done the gloves yet. Because the gloves are... Anyways, I don't want to make this video... Oh, wrong one. Well, what the heck? And this is why I don't do walkthroughs. Because I don't even remember what the hell... There we go. For the dream catcher. See? We've got three pieces again. It takes one for the vest. It takes one for those cover pants. Well, chaps. And... It takes one for the boots, but I still need a boar pelt for the boots. Or for the Fowler, sorry, which cover your boots. So anyways, might as well buy the vest, buy the chaps. And that's pretty much it. I mean, so that's... This is a video that's probably ten times... Yeah, I'm in the middle of a video. This video is probably... 10 times longer than it needs to be, but like I've explained, you got to see live in action how it worked. And, uh, yeah, so if this somehow helped you, great. <laughs> uh, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, join the fun, that'd be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by, anyways. And, uh, yeah, until then, take care, boys and girls, and I shall see you all in the next video.